Good morning, everybody. Hi, YouTube. I just wanted to make a real short video. Um, I had joined a Sjogren's support group on Facebook and decided to drop out because I am a very curious person. I uh, am to the point that if I feel a hint about something, I keep going until I find an answer to it. It's the way I am. And that is no less about uh, this Sjogren's and like Renaud's lupus and everything associated with it. And when I had posted my other two uh, YouTube videos to the Facebook site, uh, it was to help people, was to encourage them that when other people ad admit, hey, this is what's wrong with me, okay, that you are not alone, you are not alone, okay, then you don't feel so overwhelmed by what is happening. It's not your fault. Sjogren's is not your fault. And I had asked a question which got deleted on the Facebook page, uh, support group page, about taking hormones. Because as I was reading some of the posts that people were opening up about, which I thought gave them a lot of courage. And this was not me opening up. Somebody else had posted about their miscarriages, their stillborns, their... Uh, you know, uh, pre premature births and other reprodu female reproductive issues. And through the Facebook page, we had discussed about Sjogren's being hormone related. And I, I am, I truly believe it. I really do. I had hormone issues like forever throughout my life. I didn't find it out till it was late. But nonetheless, so when I had asked people about, did you take birth control? Did you use birth control? Morena. And Morena, I understand. Not that I used it. My daughter did. And it was evil. Absolute evil. This Morena uh, IUD thing. Uh, I had taken birth control pills off and on throughout my younger life, of course. And the issue was, is that those of us who used hormone-based birth control, is this, meaning the Sjogren's, it Sjogren's, is this a side effect now, a permanent side effect of having taken these hormones? And even though men get Sjogren's, uh, but a smaller percentage of them, did their partners use hormone-based birth control? It was too logical of a question. And when I asked it, it was because I live here in Cleveland near Case Western Reserve University, and I want to take that information to uh, the rheumatology, endocrinology people and go, listen, here is a group of people, a study group that said, yes, they did. You know, this percentage did, this percentage didn't use birth control. You know, what is the ramification of it? And I got scolded by the admin and I was invading on other people's private space. You know what? That's fine. I still feel in my gut uh, based on what I've read, and granted that's just a small percentage. Uh, there were a lot of women who had reproductive ish issues, myself included. I've had seven pregnancies Three survived. Three survived. Um, 
I had a stillborn daughter and three miscarriages. They were extremely painful. When I had my hysterectomy, uh, they, I, I told them to take out everything, just take it all out, you know, just vacuum it out and make it clean. And they had found cysts on my ovaries. So you have to wonder, this has to be, Sjogren's has to be hormone related. I also have a benign tumor on my pituitary that was discovered some 12 years ago, it was taken out, it grew back, and that affected my hormones also. Okay, so this is not, I'm not trying to invade on anybody's privacy, but this may be a cause and effect to what is happening to us. And if the medical community can see that, then they will wake up to it and help find research to number one make better birth control uh, for females because of course we're stuck with the responsibility of that uh, you know number two is that our partners uh, for those of you who have partners that you know if you are taking birth control it, how is this affecting them you know, because Sjogren's doesn't go away. It, it, you have it, you have it. It's done. It, 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 it's your new best friend for the rest of your life. So if I offended anybody by asking the birth control question, I'm sorry. But I just feel that there's something with that that means something. So... I, you know, if you want to comment below and say yes or no, that'll be fine. And I appreciate it and stuff. But, you know, if we can get on top of this and let the medical community know about it, that'll be great. Thank you, showgirls.